Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting over the last couple of months, Microsoft is rolling out um, quite significant improvements uh, for the Microsoft Store. And I'll leave one or two videos um, possibly in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now just to let you know that for the Canary and Dev Channel insiders, uh, yesterday on the 7th of August, Microsoft now has rolled out the August 2024 update for the Microsoft Store for those uh, channels in the Insider program. And the update will be available for Windows 11 devices with the app version 22407 and higher of the Microsoft Store. So this hasn't made its way yet to stable and is still in preview. Now, just to go through a couple of the improvements, because some of these are quite significant. Now, first of all, Microsoft has um, said they are introducing changes to the library page. And the first change is they say they have improved the default filters to show all the products uh, you own, not just products that are installed. And they also mentioned as a side note, you can still toggle this filter if you wish. And then another change they've made uh, for the library page is they've added a search bar. Um, they've added the search bar that will help you find the name or the publisher of products you're looking for. And um, this, I think, was a hidden feature and is now rolling out for it. Um, was previously a hidden feature, which I posted on, and is now rolling out for official testing. So just another indication, hidden features can make their way into official testing in the Insider program. So those are the two changes and improvements according to Microsoft for the library page. Now, the next is there's a new page for updates and downloads, which I actually think is a nice move, where Microsoft say they are moving the list of updates and downloads from the top section of the library to its own dedicated page. And they say this new page displays your list of active downloads or a pending updates and it shows the list of recent installs or updates and version notes will also be displayed for a pending update or active download and i actually think this is a step in the right direction and then heading to the next uh, so-called um, improvement is they mentioned that they were experimenting with a new section on the on the games page in some regions that will showcase select partners with in-app events so Microsoft say they have partnered with game publishers to highlight real events that will be occurring during the test period. And what we're looking at here is events from apps and games in the Microsoft Store, just to give us a kind of an example. And then the last so-called improvement is mainly for app developers, where Microsoft say they've refreshed the design of the Microsoft Store badge with a more refined call to action according to Microsoft to give users more confidence to acquire um, your app. So obviously this is um, for app developers they are focusing on with this improvement. And these improvements are rolling out to the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders uh, using a controlled rollout. So just take note of that if you are in the Canary and Dev Channel um, Insider program in those channels. And I don't see why these improvements won't make it into stable. I think regarding the library and the downloads, there are some significant improvements that will enhance the overall experience with those improvements. And when these make their way to stable, obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.